Let us rejoice and exult for joy, for the Lord of all has shown his love for a holy and glorious virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. God our Father, who called St. Francis Xavier Cabrini from Italy to serve the immigrants of America, by her example teach us to have concern for the stranger the sick and those in need. And by our prayers, help us to seek Christ in all the men and women we meet. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. When peaceful stillness compassed everything, and the night in its swift course was half spent, your all-powerful word from heaven's royal throne bounded, a fierce warrior into the doomed land, bearing the sharp sword of your inexorable decree. And as he alighted, he filled every place with death. He still reached to heaven while he stood upon the earth. For all creation, in its several kinds, was being made over anew, serving its natural laws, that your children might be preserved unharmed. The cloud overshadowed their camp, and out of what had before been water, dry land was seen emerging. Out of the Red Sea, an unimpeded road, and a grassy plain out of the mighty flood. Over this crossed the whole nation sheltered by your hand, after they beheld stupendous wonders. For they ranged about like horses, and bounded about like lambs, praising you, O Lord, their Deliverer. The Word of the Lord. Thanks. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Then he struck every firstborn throughout their land, the first fruits of all their manhood. And he led them forth laden with silver and gold, with not a weakling among their tribes. For he remembered his holy word to his servant Abraham. And he led forth his people with joy, with shouts of joy, his chosen ones. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Reading from the Holy Gospel 
according to Luke. According to the Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversaries. For a long time the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the unjust judge does. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today, the church in the United States has the uh, has the ability to remember Saint uh, Maria Francis Cabrini, Saint Francis Xavier Cabrini. Uh, Saint Francis Cabrini who dies in Chicago on December the twenty second. 1917 is from the Lombardi area of Italy, the youngest of 13 children, founded the Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart. For 28 years labored in the U.S. and South America, establishing some 67 institutions, schools, hospitals, and orphanages. First U.S. citizen canonized in 1946, she is the patroness of immigrants and migrants. So a little information on St. Uh, Francis Xavier Cabrini. The last line, though, is what jumped out at me this morning, because as always, I have the option on um, the memorials of saints to use the reading specific for the saint that the church has picked out, or to use the regular set of readings. And I wanted to reflect again on this last line that we heard today from St. Luke. It's the unanswered question of Jesus. When the Son of Man comes again, will he find faith on the earth? He does not answer that question in the Gospel because he cannot answer that question in the Gospel. I know um, that that seems to be a uh, well, it seems to be a false statement. I'm saying God cannot do something. He cannot answer a question. But I don't believe it is a false statement. For to God to say, yes, I will find faith on the earth, may run the risk of him forcing that faith by limiting our ability to be uh, people who can choose freely. Because we don't know. Will he find faith on the earth? I don't know. Why can I say I don't know? Because I don't know if you'll find faith in me. I mean, all of us can profess Christianity, but living it, aha, living it, that may not be the same. We praise God with our mouth, but we may curse our neighbor with our mouth, belittle our neighbor, degrade our neighbor with our mouth. So then, Honestly, does the confessing God have any influence upon our heart? You know, and I and I thought about all of that in relation to the time that we live in, how it's not different from any other time. At every time in history, humanity in certain parts of the world has screamed out to God, please help us, Lord, please help us. We need guidance. We need someone of your choosing come and be that example, that role model, to be a saint for us in our times. 
the immigrants, the Italian immigrants in the United States in the 1900s and the 1800s were calling out, Lord, help us, help us, please help us. And God said, okay, I'm going to send you the best possible candidate to help you. But he goes back to Lombardy to bring St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, who originally, if my memory serves me correctly, had no intention to go into the United States. She didn't want to go to the United States. I think she wanted to go east, but she was encouraged by the Pope himself to say, no, sister, go west. Go west. They need you in the west. We needed her in the West. Not only North America, but South America as well. We needed Mother Cabrini, the sanctity of life that she could show to those of us. We still need great saints. And we should still pray to God, Lord, send us saints. Send us people that can inspire us by their life. People who are not just mere great orators, people who live the faith that they profess. Send us saints to be role models and examples. And God will, and he will. Even if he has to reach across the world to send a saint to us in our particular communities, God will do that. Why? Because he loves us, we're his children. And he only wants to give us the best the best possible candidate. Now that candidate that he sends, priest, nun, bishop, religious sister, religious brother, whomever it may be, it may be someone just who's moving into your community because they accepted a job. And then they get involved in the church and provide a witness that is remarkable. Whom God chooses to send could be in his mind the best of all worlds, the best possible candidate. But yet, it's up to us to foster that candidacy. It's up to us to encourage that person to be the best that they can be. We can, we can, uh, we can become like the Hoover Dam toward the flowing of the river of God's grace and love. What do I mean by that analogy? God sends us a person. Let's say he sends us a bishop. To a, because every Catholic church has somewhere in the world has a bishop in charge. Let's say God sends to us a bishop. Which we get the bishop we need in the eyes of God, but it's not the bishop we want. Because we want something different. And so we go ahead, we berate, we belittle, we degrade. We're constantly... Uh, saying bad things. We limit the ability of God to work through the bishop to others because we become that Hoover Dam. We stop that flow. Because someone might want to go to uh, receive grace and they're told, well, you know, that's, uh, I heard that joker over there. And it could be a person, as I say, any person in the community who's the person we need, but it's not the person we want. We want something different. God wants to send us someone that we need. He sent North America, South America, the person that they needed, Mother Cabrini. It might not have been the person that some wanted, but it was the person that they needed. We pray today, Lord, send us. Not Mother Cabrini, her time is gone. She was a saint while she lived, and we honor her today. But we need a new saint for all of our communities. Send us new saints, whether they be older people, whether they be young people, whether they look like us, whether they don't look like us, whether they're men, whether they're women, send us saints, saints that we need. And let us build up our communities with good virtuous deeds, good virtuous words, and foster that candidacy of sanctity, that life, that that person could be the example to provide us, as Mother Cabrini was that person at that time. 
Now, mighty God, be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family and faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Christian, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians who praise the Lord. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video, for the needs of you here present in our church today, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the repose of the soul of Oscar L. Watkins and Roger Zadril, for whom this Mass is being offered today. The consolation of their souls, I mean the repose of their souls and the consolation of their families. We pray to the Lord. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Lord, we the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. <laughs> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity, made by the example of blessed Francis Xavier Green, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints who praise you, without end, we proclaim. Amen. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, hope of your glory, Hosanna in Christ, let us be seen in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in Christ. You are indeed, holy Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore the truth and the truth and the truth that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion. He took bread out, giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim the Lord, and the resurrection, and the Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all that have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Third, I live with you in the name of God, my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil grace to grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious but grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, be great for the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, be great for the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, be great for the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Build the Lamb of God, the old hymn, it takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have come among you, but I will be sent to the Lord, and my soul shall be virgins brought flasks of oil with their lambs. Then at midnight the cry went up, Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord.
Let us pray. Having fed upon the delights of the sacrament of salvation, O Lord, we humbly implore your faithful love, that imitating by your grace the charity of blessed Mother Cabrini, we may also be made partakers with her in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is in it. Go in peace. Thank you. Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Father, our angel, the kingdom of the Son, the architecture of the sickness and sickness of death, may God be the king of the humble prayer, and to the noble prince of the heavenly house, Father, the Son, and Father, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the living spirits, who will not be the world to seek and rule the souls. Amen. The divine praise of protection against the arms of our kings and other disasters.